Hey everybody, it's Isaiah Brookshire with another video edition of my blog. Today we are going to talk about colorizing old photos and the software I'm going to be using is Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 4. Now there are many, many ways um, that you can colorize photos. You can use Photoshop, you can use programs like uh, Pixelmator or any other of the uh, layers-based editing programs out there. So first thing we do is click New Brush. And I'm going to switch to the color preset. Let me scroll down here to the color button. And let's pick our color for the background. I think we are going to go with a nice blue for the background. Now I'm going to grab my brush and using the two finger gesture I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. You could also make your brush bigger by using the slider. Now I'm just doing real quick work right now. Um, I'm just kind of working around getting the basic shapes in there. Okay, uh, let's, do, let's do a little bit of cleanup work. And for parts of this, I'm gonna I'm gonna speed it up because you don't want to see me doing all this work. Okay, that looks pretty good. We've got a lot of the background. Um, we can always go back and work on the details. Now I think I'm gonna attack sort of the next big piece of clothing, and that's uh, the uniform right here. All right, so we selected a new brush color. Let's get a nice yellow color, and let's just start going to town. All Teddy's uniform. Now, I'm missing a lot of details. I'm going over the buttons, I'm getting up onto the shoulders, I hit the belt a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and fix that. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start doing cleanup. And the way I do cleanup is on the Mac, I hold Alt, and if you see, if you see my little brush, it changes to a minus sign, and that's an eraser. So if I did that right there, it would erase the colors. And so I'm just going to do a really zoomed in um, view and just go through here and erase uh, all the places where I spilled over. Now here's my chance to start doing the detail work, actually going through on every one of these gloves with a relatively small eraser and cleaning off each finger. A real fine detail in there. I think uh, as I've looked at these different colorized photos, one thing that tends to set them apart, uh, the, the really good ones, that sets apart the really good ones, is uh, nice clean editing. All right, now that looks really good. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to hit are these gloves. These gloves are going to be a dark brown leather. Now that I've finished those gloves, I'm, I'm not really happy with them. To me, they're just not the color I was going for. I wanted sort of a really rich, leathery color, and this, this just isn't doing it for me. So to get that kind of darker color, I could oversaturate, but that doesn't actually change the lightness of the color. It just changed how bright red it is. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to kind of go for this mid-tone, orangey red that's about 45 percent saturation and then i'm going to come over here to the exposure and i'm going to take those gloves down just a little bit make them a little bit darker and that way it gets closer to that color i was looking for now depending on the look you're going for you may want to do less fine detail work you may actually like that kind of overflowing splashed mixed up color look because it looks more hand painted looks more old-fashioned but if you're actually going for a true colorization of a black and white photo that's when you want to do a lot of detail work and that's what I'm doing right now okay that looks good the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and shine up all the gold bits on his uniform um, how do I know which parts were gold? I don't. I'm just making it up. Mm. 
Now I'm going to do some detail work on uh, the collar and the badges just to give it a little bit more uh, contrast, a little bit more color. Now here's where the artistic license comes into play. Did Theodore Roosevelt wear a blue belt on his uniform? Uh, probably not. I'm going to go say no. But would it look kind of cool if he had a gold and blue belt? Yeah, it would. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn his whole belt blue. Okay. I think I'm going to grab the color from the jacket, which is right here. Okay, so we've taken care of the whole background and the outfit. Now it's time to do the real fine detail work, and that's on the skin tone. Skin tone can be challenging. I like to go for something sort of uh, very desaturated. So for the eyes, I actually don't know what color Theodore Roosevelt's eyes were, but for the sake of impact, let's just give him really piercing blue eyes. Now don't, don't overdo this. I should point out that if you're going to give him blue eyes, don't make them too electric blue. Just make them nice, make them blend in, make it plausible. Okay, so we're going to do a few touch-ups now. Uh, we're going to give him a little bit darker shade of hair color. A nice browny blonde. And the last thing we're going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of detail, a little bit of color to the lips. Okay, so we've laid out all the colors pretty well. As you can see, there are all my pins. So let's start with the background and then we'll work from there. I want to actually give it a, a more saturated and then perhaps a darker background. It looks like it needs some cleanup, so let me do a quick work. The color of the pants I think could be a little bit better, maybe a little bit darker. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring that down. Maybe just around 0.50. And then make the color a little bit more saturated. That looks good. Now the next thing I see are all the all the blue parts. Um, I like these. These look pretty good to me. But the belt is bothering me a little bit. It seems just too bright, too unnatural. So what I'm going to do instead of changing the hue is I'm actually just going to come in here and darken this side of the belt down a little bit to make it seem more like maybe a dyed leather or something. Okay, the thing I'm the least happy about in this photo at the moment is the skin tone. It just seems a little too unnatural. It, it looks like those uh, Monty Python uh, painted in faces that you sometimes see. So I'm going to try find a better skin tone. And then the hair is a little too red. Um, different photos will have different textures of skin and different hues of skin. This photo, if you look very closely, you'll see that the contrast on the face goes very quickly from very light to very dark, and so you don't get a lot of different hues in the face. Um, if, if there was more texture and if there was more um, gradient in the face, you might actually get a better skin tone that looked more lifelike. Now at this point, it's still not perfect for me. So what happens next is just sort of obsessing about the colors, getting the balance right, uh, maybe even going back and looking at some other photos for reference to see how you can blend your photos and make them a little bit better.
what I'm doing right now is just adding a little bit of texture to the color on the face to make it appear more realistic, make it appear more lifelike, just adding some gradation. As a final step, depending on uh, the quality of the photo you started with, I might just go back and add some global adjustments. And as you can see, my machine is chugging along very slowly, uh, dealing with all those different brushes we've used. But let's turn them off and look at where we started. So you can see we've made uh, significant progress and brought this photo uh, into a little bit more modern light. All right, uh, thank you for joining me. Thanks for uh, watching this tutorial. I hope it helps you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below the video or leave them in comments on my blog. I'd be happy to answer them, uh, talk through the process with you, and I would love to hear your suggestions. I'm very new to this process. I just started doing it. So if you've got some great tips on colorization or maybe tricks or even, even uh, tutorials for other programs, leave them here, let me know about them. I would love to hear about it. All right, thanks for watching. We will see you next time.